Hey guys, we're in the greenhouse uh, on Tuesday, February 18th, uh, around 1 p.m. We got the doors cracked so we're not sweating here. But we want to show you the progress of some of the things we planted and we also want to teach you how to thin your seedlings. And we told you we we're going to do that. So if Alan could come down here, he'll show you some of these seedlings. Uh, if you remember, or if you don't, I'm going to tell you, the whole back area here, we broadcast seeded dwarf, uh, dwarf Vates kale. And so that's the back end, which is why kale's coming up everywhere in the back. You don't really need to thin an area that you've uh, seeded this way, because the purpose of this type of seeding is to have a lot of leaf that we can pick and eat as salad, small. Uh, we put in some perennial sorrel in the corner here, and those are coming up like lettuces. Uh, maybe Alan can get it close up there. Yep. But I want to show you some other seeds that came up. And we're going to come right in here to these are beet seeds. Now, beet seeds are different than most seeds. Uh, it's okay if you have three beets that come up in one spot. Uh, because the beets will push themselves away from each other. So there's no need to thin three beets. But you don't want to have more than four beets per section or eight inches. So over here we have one, two, three, four, five, like seven or eight beets. So I'm just going to take some of those out. And that's it. You can eat them or just throw them back into the dirt. Um, so follow me down here, uh, Alan, and I'll show them some perfect spacing here, basically, on a brassica. Most things you want to keep four or six inches apart. And so as we're moving down the line here, you see how they start to get a little close here down in this section, Alan? So if, we, if you can come closer, um, I'm just going to thin this little area. And it's pretty simple. I'm just going to start making a spacing. And you want to quickly pull the seedling out sideways to not disturb the one you want to leave. So, and I'm not going to worry about these little babies, so I'm going to leave this, I'll leave that one, I'll get rid of these two. I can just eat those. You also want to pick the strongest seedling to leave, so I'm going to leave that one. Maybe we'll just leave two down here at the end. So these are pretty nicely thinned. Let's... Uh, Move on to our peas. We place the peas uh, two inches apart. This is the spacing we're going to keep. It's perfect. I think we had 20 or 30 peas here. Uh, next few weeks, these are going to grow up and start flowering. They'll be the first thing to flower in here. Uh, let's jump over into here, Alan, and show them some more beets. So here we have one, two, three, four rows of beets in here. And again, the spacing, uh, you don't have to thin these. Two beets per spot is great. I'm just going to get rid of that one. Maybe there's a few too many here. Definitely want to get some space here. So what I'm going to place them two to four inches apart. These beets look good to me. Here we're getting a little busy. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six in that bundle. I'll just take a few of those out. And that's as easy as beets are. Um, this is a section of lettuce we planted. You don't have to thin lettuces. Lettuces can grow up in a, in a greenhouse setting as tight as you want, even this tight. You'll just have more lettuce there. And each of these will be a new head. So let's say one of these becomes the dominant head. Once that's ready, you just cut it, and what you're going to have is extra lettuces underneath to come back up. And that'll give you a longer harvest on your lettuces. Um, that's about all the thinning we can show you right now, uh, because that's all the thinning we needed. So I hope you got something out of the video. Almost everything we planted has sprouted. Isn't that right, Alan? Yes. Yeah, so, uh, and we didn't do anything, but prepare the soil, put the seeds in, and water it. So you can grow food yourself. Food is free if you grow it. And now you know how to thin your seedlings.